One great use of the fade cue is to pan audio output from one channel to another. In this example, we're going to look at a police siren and pan it to come from the left channel of the audio into the right channel. When we select Q1, we can see that the audio input is going into cross points channels 1 and 2, which become Q outputs 1 and 2. Q output 1 is our left channel, whereas Q output 2 is our right channel. What we're going to do is go ahead and pull down Q output 2 down to negative infinity so that it mutes that output of the channel. And if we were to press go now, we would only hear the audio coming out of the left channel. In order to change it over to the right channel, we're simply going to insert a fade cue and target Q1 with that fade cue. And go ahead and set the total opposite on the output settings for that fade. Channel 1 will be out to negative infinity and channel 2 would be up to 0. Now one thing that's very important in setting this so that we have a smooth transition is the curve shape. We're going to go ahead and click on the curve shape and change it from the S curve to a custom curve. I'm going to reach over to about the 4 second mark and just pull up for a nice gentle fade curve so that when we click go, we start on the left channel. And then it fades very evenly over to the right channel of output. <laughs> 